you screw with me now just a little bit and you'll never really be with your one and only Vanessa ever again. Pick her name again! Go ahead! Yes, the son of a boxer! You... You're all running this place. Yeah, he did set him free. You ask such spare questions, Mr. Murdoch. I know. You're regaining power in here. Yes, ask uh, my lawyer. He'll deny it. Uh, ask the guards. They'll deny it. Ask the inmates here. They'll cut their tongues out before they talk. But I have something to say to you. When I finally get out of this cage, I will dismantle the lives of the two amateurs that put uh, me in here. You, Mr. Murdoch, and Franklin Percy Nelson. No, I, I put you here, not Nelson. No, I did it. The two of you took the laurels. You'll both take the blame. I'll chop both the heads off of that snake. And I'll spend more than six dollars on postage to bring you down. You see, I've had a lot of time to reflect on my journey here. Mr. Murdoch, my mistakes, everything I took for granted. And while I try and sleep in this bleak place, the one thing that keeps me warm is the thought that I will look down upon this city. The city that birthed me with the woman that I love. Who, whom I love with everything that I am. If you're worried that Frank Castle will wreak havoc on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> Just wait. Time's up, Mr. Murdoch. Let's do this again sometime. 